Instagram in just a second because here's the reality. Welcome. Many women are jealous of men. Jealous of men's ability to maintain, to be in the market and actually get women. If a man, a man can, as long as a man is productive, competitive, productive and competitive, he can pull a woman in the marketplace regardless of age. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Black Male Advice TV the best channel on youtube hands down you already don't know what it is make sure you get those likes up on the video today's topic we're going to be dealing with kevin samuels final moments we're going to talk about a lot of things here because kevin samuels was messy with his business practices and I want to talk about that in this particular stream here to bring out the information that you need to know. On today's episode, we're going to be dealing with something that a lot of people probably didn't see. And it's regarding his final moments. That's right. Kevin Samuel. Shout out to everybody that's joining in on the stream. We got Solomon King, Jacob Jennings, Devon, Chef Quentin, what's going on? We got Karzaya in the building. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one here. Shout out to everybody joining in. You already don't know what it is. Get them likes up. We're dealing with Kevin Samuels final moments for those that's coming in in the clouds welcome to the stream you already done know what it is we're dealing with kevin samuel's final moments he mixed business with pleasure one thing that we can take from the work that kevin samuels did he talked a lot about how you're not supposed to be messy when it comes to business and pleasure he talked about how as a man you have options and how if you're in a relationship then you're not supposed to have any unwanted babies outside of the relationship or embarrass the family and the relationship but something went down on a recent stream of kevin samuels that i want to talk about because it shows a lot that took place before his passing. There was a woman in question. And this particular woman, for whatever reason, is not being held as a suspect. We're gonna talk about her. We're gonna also talk about something that we never see Kevin Samuels do. Because I believe based on what I have in my possession that Kevin Samuels didn't look at the playback of his last stream 
he didn't look at the, the playback to realize that he made a mistake. And we're going to take a look at something that, to me, have a lot of clues. We're going to learn about something that took place right before the moments of his passing. Because based on what we have, they're saying that he had pain in his chest, cardiac arrest. But was that really what happened? Was Kevin Samuels murdered, allegedly? Could it be that Kevin Samuels was targeted and an individual was placed in his life at the right time to take him out? Because based on the circumstances, especially when these guys are in these fraternities, and these different organizations that are secret societies, a lot of times these particular men, they take oaths and they sell their soul for fortune and fame. And then once the time is up and you've lived that abundant life, payment time is near. And so like every man that take that oath, there comes a time when the sacrifice must be given. And I believe that Kevin Samuels didn't know that that would be his final hour. He didn't know that. But there was a woman in his presence. We need to talk about her. There was a woman in his apartment which says a lot about Kevin Samuels' character and bad business practices. You see, as a content creator, you must understand that YouTube is also a business. Instagram is a business. And if you're running live streams, live shows, and so forth, you understand that it's a business. You can't be messy with your business. You can't mix business with pleasure. You can't have women that are in your environment that you are engaging with intimately, allegedly, and at the same time running your business. We got a lot to talk about. So I'm gonna play this footage. We're gonna go through this and we're gonna also go through a police report. I'm not gonna put the police report up on the screen because it have personal information that I didn't cover up. I have the actual cover of this particular information that I downloaded. This is public information for anyone to get, which means even if I showed it, it is within community guidelines. At the same time, for Mr. Samuel's privacy and his family, I will not disclose that because it has addresses and so forth on it. But the information and narrative of this police report is very telling. It talks about a lot of stuff that is very interesting that I want to talk about. There was a woman, believe it or not, Kevin Samuels went out with a woman. So I guess that clears up any sort of rumors about him, even though I still believe that he have some fruity pebbles. At the same time, he did go out with a woman because a woman was in the residence when he was deleted. But the question that remains here is, was it natural causes? Was it because of some sort of drug, allegedly? Was it because he drank Red Bull in combination with alcohol, allegedly. Was it a combination of drugs mixed with all of those different elements that caused him to go into cardiac arrest, allegedly? What was really going down within that apartment? 
on that dark hour? That's what we want to know. Because normally when someone dies, there are suspects, which mean that if there was a woman at the residence, then naturally the police would investigate the matter. That individual would not go scot-free and just be able to walk these streets and get away and go about their business. That's not going to happen. You understand? They're going to they're going to use that person for questioning because they're going to want to know what happened, what went wrong, what's going on, where were you, who are you to that person, how did you know that person, what really is going on? That's what they're going to that's what they're going to they're going to pretty much do. So why the police ain't keeping the public updated on who that woman was and why was she there? And why would a businessman, why would a prominent YouTuber like Kevin Samuels be sloppy with his business? Why would Kevin Samuels, the guy that told you brothers that you have to know how to be discreet, that you know you have to know how to protect your investments and the things that you're doing because your image in the public means everything. Why would your so-called godfather get caught slipping? Why would he get caught slipping? Why would Kevin Samuels, a man who's supposed to be a multimillionaire, why would he invite a woman according to the narrative of the police report why would he invite a woman he don't even know up to his apartment in his business environment and allow said woman to stay the night That's sloppy business practices. A high value man would make a better choice of keeping business and pleasure separated. At least an educated, smart businessman would know better not to bring the women of the night, allegedly, to where you rest your head at. You see, here on Black Mel Advice TV, we deal with the real. We bring commentary and criticism and inform information in a educational, entertaining way with drama, with excitement, theatrics, you name it. But all in all, for your learning experience. Because it seems as if though everyone in these YouTube streets are having these trib tributes and everybody is giving flowers and pretty much everybody's just being hypocrites. Nobody's being real. You have a bunch of hypocrites in these streets. I mean, you have guys that talked a lot of crap about this guy. Everybody trying to act like they all cool and this and that. And that. listen, man, it's a lot of fake stuff going on, fam. And it's disgusting. I'm probably like the only one that's still standing on my square, same way from the beginning. Not changing up, not dream, being all sentimental and emotional. We don't got time for that. Do you understand me? Now, according to this particular report, we're gonna get into that right now. This report here is very interesting because it was pretty much taken on May 5th. And without reading everything else, I'm going to kind of go into a few details about it. It says regarding a person injured. That's what it says. Regarding a person injured. Um, injured to me is not the appropriate word because injured would imply that someone did something to him. Because when you really think about it, they said that he had chest pain. And they also said that uh, they perform CPR and other different things. It is also being said that the woman that was allegedly with him was a nurse. 
Now we're gonna talk and paint a picture and we're gonna try to make sense of all of this stuff because a lot of content creators are not really making any sense at all, right? Now, it goes on and it says the following, that this particular person was injured upon arrival. Uh, Figaro observed the fire department engine 21 performing CPR to a black male unresponsive on the floor of his apartment then met Miss Artensia I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name who identified the male as Mr. Kevin Samuels Miss Alcantara whatever her name is I can't pronounce her name my apologies started that she met Mr. Samuels last night Now, I've already said in countless videos that Kevin Samuels promoted that as a man, especially if you're a high value man and you got money, it's a waste of time getting to know a woman, going through all of that dating stuff. It's better to just pay for an escort and get right down to business. This is what Kevin Samuels taught black men. According to the reports, it's pretty clear. This woman said she met Mr. Samuels last night. Isn't that interesting? Came to his apartment and spent the night with him. That's coming from your boy, the businessman, the high value man that said you're not supposed to be sloppy with your work. You're not really supposed to be mixing business with pleasure. I mean, you could have went to the telly. You could have went over here. As a high value man, you should have had another crib where you could have took that lady. But you basically took her to your office where you make your bread and butter. To me, that's sloppy business, fam. That right there was a big mistake. You see, Kevin taught you brothers that you're not supposed to do stuff like that. But here, according to this report, this woman said she met Mr. Samuels, which means she didn't know him. But she met him last night. Came to his apartment and spent the night with him. What did she spend the night with him for? I mean, what, why else would a woman spend the night with a man? But think about this. They're claiming that this woman allegedly is a nurse. Now, to be a nurse, you would have to be an educated woman now. And you would have to be a busy woman as well. But you have time to meet a man that you just met in one night and already you're at his apartment spending the night. Who is that woman? Why we don't hear about her? Why we don't see the media talking about her? Why she is not a suspect? What is really going on? So it goes on and it says that she spent last night with him, came to his apartment and spent the night with him. The woman went on and said also, said that early morning, meaning when they woke up, which mean after the night, after Mr. Samuel spent the night allegedly with this said woman. She said that early morning, Mr. Samuels complained of chest pain. Think of that. Think about that. 
which means Kevin Samuels allegedly was already getting it in with this particular woman, allegedly getting it in for all of you attorneys out there. Because in the morning, this woman who don't even know him, who stayed at his apartment the night when she's supposed to be a nurse, allegedly, said that Mr. Samuels complained of chest pain. So now, what happened between the night and that early morning? Did Mr. Samuels allegedly use some sort of over-counter drug, allegedly? Was he drinking alcohol in combination with Red Bull to have energy to get it in with this woman, allegedly. What really went down? Because he was feeling chest pain and she attempted to help him. That's what it says, that she attempted to help him. Now keep in mind, they're saying that this woman is a nurse. So as a nurse, she should have medical background on how to do certain things. It should be very clear to her on how to do it, right? Of course. So it says she attempted to help him, but he fell on top of her. Now, got up in the morning, complained of chest pain, She attempted to help him, but he fell on top of her. Kind of remind me of a scene, I believe, out of the movie The Color Purple. Did Kevin Samuels have a color purple moment? I don't know, but if I'm correct, there was a scene where a guy was performing sexual activity with a woman and something happened. Oh yeah. We gotta talk about this now because this is getting very interesting, right? Shout out to Jason for the super chat, appreciate your support. Zulu, appreciate your support. He said, I predicted the most high movement wouldn't end well. So now, when we, oh, you said the high value, wait, I predicted the high value movement wouldn't end well. Well, of course, well, as we can see, it's certainly not ending, it's not ending well. You know what I mean? Because all of Kevin Samuel's soldiers that he pretty much was about to put on, they were about to do like some really big things. Um, Those things are not happening. That's why, um, pretty much that's why they're upset right now. Um, Yeah. A lot of the the people that Kevin Samuels had on his team, his dream team, oh yeah, they're, they're upset right now because they were about to, you know, go to the next level. There was a lot of plans in the works and, and, Without, without him, uh, those plans are just not going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? Like those plans were totally shattered. So they're not happy about that. A lot of people are not happy about that. And this goes, goes to show that when you worship a man and you don't follow the most high, you don't keep the commandments, you put all your trust in a man, Once that man expire, everything that you're trying to do is over. That's just the way it works. Right? Now, let's go back to this particular article thing. Not article, but the uh, police report. Find out what, what went on with this incident here. It says that this particular woman pretty much 
attempted to help him, but he fell on top of her. Now, could it be that Kevin Samuels was allegedly having sexual relations with this woman and when he was in the process, allegedly, he felt this particular pain due to other substances that were still in his body, allegedly, and then he fell on top of her because how could he fall on top of her? How do you just fall on top of somebody? On top? No, you can fall on the floor, but to fall on top of her, that would imply that they are laying down. See, none of Kevin Samuels' soldiers, they're not going to talk about these things because they're going to try to paint the image as if though he was this great guy, everybody loved him. But people like me, you know, I'm just a hater, you know, meaning that I cannot speak. I cannot share my thoughts. I can't share no opinions because if I do, I would be considered a hater. That's how it is in these YouTube streets. You're you're just not supposed to talk. In other words, Kevin Samuels, whether dead or alive, he's above reproach. And if you speak against him and he's dead, you're more of a hater. Do you see how do you see the idol worship, the adultery of people today? They have more reverence for Kevin Samuels than they do the Messiah who died for their sins. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. But this is what goes on in these streets. But according to this narrative here, he fell on top of her and proceeded to notify 911. Did he proceed to do that? Or did she proceed to do that? That's neither here nor there, but it goes on and it says, she said she requested the 911 operator to contact the front desk, to contact the front desk for a defibrillator to keep Mr. Samuels responsive. Now, again, this is supposed to be a woman who is a nurse. So shouldn't she know how to administer CPR? I'm just saying. She's supposed to be a registered nurse. Right? So she's supposed to know how to do this. She's supposed to know how to keep him responsive if she is a nurse, right? She's supposed to know how to make sure that the patient is safe. I mean, she was there for the night, right? Allegedly. Because that's what they're spinning, that this woman is a nurse. Okay, if she's a nurse, what hospital do she work for? Let's talk about that. How long have she been a nurse? And why the reports is claiming that the the so-called fire department was administering CPR rather than the nurse? Because if Mr. Samuels was experiencing cardiac arrest, she could have been doing her part to sustain him and make sure that he's good. But for whatever reason, it doesn't say that she did a thing. So based on what I'm reading, it's almost as if though this man was experiencing this traumatic situation and she just kind of left him there to basically expire. Allegedly. Do you see that? So it goes on and it says that she pretty much asked for the front desk to get a defibrillator to keep Mr. Samuels responsive. To keep Mr. Samuels responsive until 
Grady arrived because she is a nurse. She is a nurse. So this is a public record. This is a public record that this woman is a nurse. Every nurse should know how to administer CPR. Right? It says Mr. Samuels was later transported to a hospital by Grady or Grandy bus. And it has a number and so forth, whatever the situation is. But now that's interesting. Because why would a nurse not be administering CPR? I mean, I'm sure she was administering other things that night. Allegedly, I'm sure she was, right? I'm sure she was doing a whole lot. But for some reason, she don't know how to administer CPR. Come on, fam. She got to know what she's doing. She got to know what she's doing. Who sent her? Was she sent? Did the powers that be send her? Was this a ritual, a blood sacrifice? What was really going on? Why would Mr. Samuels, with all of his clout, bring a woman that he just met to the place he rests his head at and let her stay the night, the night and trusted her? I mean, he broke all sorts of rules. But this is what happened when men are thirsty for that old box. You see, the devil, he know how to get you brothers. Women and money be the weakness of man. Send a nice looking woman, the devil can lure you brothers in. How many times have we seen on social media of men meeting up with women at certain locations only to get robbed and tortured. How many times you've seen those stories? You see what I'm saying? Kevin Samuels didn't read up about these, th these issues. You're going to bring a woman that you don't know to your crib. The woman said she just met him that night, late the, um, the last night. So she stayed at his crib. He let a woman he don't know stay at his crib. And then this happened. He did not know he was going to pass on. He did not know. He did not know in a million years. Shout out to Tyler for the super chat. Diana for the uh, membership. Appreciate your support. Um, shout out to Too Tall for the super chat. Shout out to Zulu again for the super chat. He said Red Bull mixed with a game. Shout out to Rude for Eyes for the membership. Appreciate you joining. Um, let me see. Zulu said uh, Red Bull mixed with a game. Shaking my head. I read up on the whole Red Bull thing. Um, I don't recommend none of you brothers uh, drink that type of stuff. Um, I was looking at side effects and different things. Like if you drink too much of that stuff, it can really mess you up. And it also talks about how if you mix it with alcohol, man, you will have so-called cardiac arrest, fam. I'm just saying, you know? Yeah, I know how to perform CPR. I mean, those are like, I mean, like when you... <sighs> How you don't know, like that's something everybody's supposed to know. Like in today's day, everybody's supposed to know that because what if you have a family member in the house and something's going on and you don't know how to do that? A nurse don't know how to do that? She could have administered that to make sure that he's responsive. There's a lot of other techniques a nurse would know under those circumstances because of her training. Her training should have kicked in. But guess what? There's more to this story that is very, very telling. Was that woman a paid escort? Was that woman a paid escort? 
allegedly. Did Kevin Samuels allegedly pay for an escort for the night? Did Kevin Samuels allegedly pay a woman for her services for the night? And he died in his sins. Did that happen? Think about it. Let me read this scripture somebody posted up here. Uh, Ecclesiastes 38, 15. He that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. Wow, that that's crazy right there. There's also a scripture in the Bible. I don't know exactly which chapter and verse, but it talks about how your sin will find you out. Meaning your sin, the thing that you love to do, it'll find you out. Your own sin that you love may end up killing you, taking you out. And based on the circumstances here, it looks very apparent that Mr. Samuels paid and hired an escort to come over to the crib to do his little, do her little, uh, what's that movie? Pretty Woman. Do that Pretty Woman movie routine. And that's exactly what happened. Then for whatever reason, there's other scenarios that could play a part in this. Could it have been that this woman allegedly laced up a particular drink of Kevin Samuels? Allegedly. You see, as a content creator, I'm also an investigative reporter. And I use common sense and logic and things just don't add up here. When a woman is found to be with a man that have died, she should be brought in for questioning. We, we need to know exactly what happened and why was she there. If this woman was in fact a paid escort, then there need to be an investigation. Did she make any recent deposits in her account? Did she receive a large sum of money via PayPal, Cash App? Did she receive anything of that likeness that can substantiate the fact that Mr. Samuels made some sort of deal to have her for the night? Because Kevin Samuels talked a whole lot about hiring escorts because it makes things fast and easy. Why go through the whole dating, getting to know you process when all I got to do is just pay you three bands and I can pretty much have you for the weekend. That's pretty much what your boy, Kevin Samuels, preached. And I got all of those receipts. And I've talked about that many times and I've gave many warnings and all of Kevin Samuels supporters, followers, they ignored everything that I talked about. Why? Because they didn't want you, the people, to learn the truth about Kevin Samuels. He was not about family development. He was not about family growth. He was not about brothers and sisters having children. He was not about that. He was about having women on rotation. That is what he was about. He wasn't about family. He wasn't about people getting married. That was a part of the gimmick to sell you ladies a dream that he know you're gonna never have until you get your life right. Do you understand? And I won't be reading your comment, Lion of Judah. I won't be reading that because I'm not gonna be talking this nonsense about resting in peace and all this other nonsense. I don't got no time to be talking about that. Because when men are living a life of sin and actually teaching brothers to be whoremonger males, they're not following the Most High. They're not keeping the commandments of the Most High. And there won't be no resting in no peace. Because see, a lot of people, especially in this truth, let me talk to you so-called brothers that's supposed to be in the truth. Woe unto you brothers that claim you follow the Most High and you don't uphold the scriptures and you have no standards. 
Woe be unto you. There's a lot of you so-called Israelite brothers that are going around these YouTube streets all over social media praising Kevin Samuels while knowing this man didn't follow the Most High, while knowing this man was promoting whoredom, while knowing this man taught and teached that women that are married, that cheat, should literally hide it from their husbands and not tell them. But shout out to Lion of Judah for your support. Shout out to Diana. Diana for your support again. She said, I'm, act I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse in, NY in, in New York City. You must be CPR certified. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And why she didn't give an aspirin. Yo, I'm telling you, man. There you go. There you go. Come on. Everybody most likely have some sort of aspirin or something in the house somewhere. Come on now. She could have gave him an aspirin, call 911 as soon as possible. I don't know. I carry aspirin and Benadryl at all times. That's that's a good point. Again, as a, as a nurse, you would have training. Oh, listen, everybody that has a career, a job, you have training. Your training should kick in when trouble really take place. For, if you're a firefighter, you see a building on fire, even if you're off duty, the adrenaline will kick in. All your training, you'll know what to do to save a life. How a nurse didn't know those basic skills. How? It don't make no sense. Right? Now, let's go into this footage. And then we're going to make some sense of this thing. Let's go into this particular footage. Let's check this out and hear what Kevin Samuels have to say. Now, the good part about this is towards the end. Because it reveals a lot. It reveals a whole lot. But let's listen to what he have to say. Let's listen to what he have to say, fam. Let's go. Open, it, uh, open Instagram in just a second, because here's the reality. Many women are jealous of men. Jealous of men's ability to maintain, to be in the market and actually get women. If a man, a man can, as long as the man is productive, competitive, productive and competitive, he can pull a woman in the marketplace regardless of age. Productive, competitive, successful men, shout out to Theo Waff. You can hold out for a dog or PhD, ladies. Uh, yet a normal, humble man will make a, a loving family, uh, uh, Yet a normal loving man will make a family with you. Huh? Here's the thing, Theo. I actually referred somebody to you the other day uh, to the to 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 the things you're teaching. But here's the thing. He mentioned humble, gentlemen. You're looking for a woman who brings peace and she has humility. Peace and humility. He said that you you need a woman that brings you peace, a woman that will have humility. This man met a woman, invited her up to his apartment, a woman he don't know. Was he looking for peace? And how did he know that woman has humility? You see? You can't make that up. So he learned about that in five seconds? You just trust a woman that you don't know to bring her up to the house, right? See, he teach men and show men to do one thing, but he do another thing. I've been, I've been talking about this before Kevin Samuels blew up on YouTube. I've been exposing Kevin Samuels when he only had 70,000 subscribers. When he was just focused on fashion. And I was warning people about this guy. So save me the you're the hater, you're this. Enough of all of that garbage. We're dealing with real issues here. And if you're an adult, 
Take and clean the wax out of your ears and actually pay attention to the stream. All right? Let's go. There are plenty of attractive women who have humility, but they're not overly impressed with themselves. If you're dealing with a woman who's overly impressed with herself, don't waste your time. He said, don't waste your time with a woman that isn't like overly impressed with herself, something along those lines. Now think about that. Is he's talking about a woman that is not like, uh, I guess she knows she's, in other words, let's say you have a woman that's hot, but she's not all like out there. She's more humble with herself. Let's go. That's an uphill battle. And women who talk like this, well, why can a man exercise options and you can't? Well. You, we're not equals. Now, here he go with the we're not equal stuff right now. Check this out. Um, we know that men and women are not equal. But let's focus on what he just finished talking about regarding options. Kevin Samuels believe in having women on rotation. The whole entire high value movement nonsense that he started wasn't about men improving themselves. It was really about middle aged men being able to attract the pick of the litter, for lack of better words. In other words, middle aged men being able to secure the women that they wish they could get on any good day, but can't because they didn't have the resources. So what Kevin Samuels did is he faked it till he made it and use the high value talking point to make you believe in an image. For example, you'll have people, they'll look at me. They'll look at my studio. They'll think, man, this guy, this guy got a lot of money. This guy is this, this guy is that, really. That's what you that's what you believe. If that's the case, then anybody can fake it, bro. You see, Kevin Samuel said, put on a suit, because if you put on a suit, you'll look trustworthy. You'll look successful. I once heard a pastor say back in the day, why buy the whole bottle of cologne? When you can get the sample and get the same result. Think about that because it probably went through your ear and went out the other way. And you had a generation at that time of men that would go down to Macy's, get the samples of different fragrances. They never had to spend a dollar to buy it. They would just get the samples. But now in today's day, they don't give out those samples no more. <laughs> unless you bought something. You understand? So he used a high value talking point to sell an image and he faked it till he made it because when Kevin was talking about high value, he was not this guy making 10 K a month. He wasn't many other content creators exposed that they exposed all the records, everything. He was not doing that, but he told you in order to be a high value man, you have to make 10 K a month for five years. You have to be linked in. You have to have a network. You have to be useful to the group. He never had no group. He never had nothing. But it sounded good. And you believed in the gimmick. So what he's doing today, or what he did, because he's no longer here, is he have multiple people minds jacked up concerning financial success, relationships, and he sold you this image as if though he's an image consultant when there are no real records of him being an image consultant for anyone. And the people that he actually dressed or styled are people right here on YouTube. Nobody in the industry, no reviews, nothing. Why? It was a gimmick and it made him rich. Made him a lot of money. But now the damage has been done. 
because a lot of you ladies are in search of a high value man. You no longer want the guy making 45K. No. You no longer want the guy making 65K. You don't want him at all. You want the guy making 150K, 200K, because you believe these guys are out there waiting for you. And what Kevin Samuels essentially did is he used a course of manipulation. In other words, put the battery in your back to desire a man that's wealthy. And then when you desire that particular man, then he guilt trip you on why you want that man, shame you for it, and then make you feel you can't get it. All while upholding the image of high value. So what you're going to listen to here when he's talking, he's basically saying that men are not equal to women, which is true. We're not equal. But he's saying that men can literally go out there and just get whatever woman he want because Kevin Samuels didn't believe in building family. He didn't believe in having a wife because he was divorced twice. Now, why would a woman want to leave a high value man? And why would a high value man separate from a woman he loved? Think about that. Let's go. We're different in the sense that, but you don't hear men talking about, well, women get their stuff up front, blah, blah, blah. Ladies, many of you are going to have to come to, to um, grips with the fact that you've been marketed to, you've been lied to. You've been lied to by him. He the one who told you about the market. He's the one who told you about your sexual market value. But yet, this is the same guy that believe in buying escorts. Does that make sense? Let's go. The women before you have lied to you. Media has lied to you. Media has lied to you. No, he has lied to you. Because what he do is media. You have to understand, he capitalized off of the desires of women that practice hypergamy. He capitalized off of that. He did it during the pandemic when he knew the majority of you were home because you couldn't go to work. So you were on YouTube all day. He took that, took the talking points of various different people and became successful. Great marketing strategy. And now a lot of our people are destroyed because chivalry is gone. Women don't know their roles. Men are out here being whoremonger males. They don't want to take care of children anymore. Nobody believe in marriage. But you believe that Kevin Samuels was here to help you get a husband? How could he help you get a husband when he didn't have a wife and believe in paying for escorts? Let that make sense. You cannot have it all. Life is about choices and trade-offs. Life is about choices and trade-offs. You can't have it all. That's what he do after he give you the pitch or sell the high value to you. See, here's what he did essentially. He sold you high value, made you want a guy that's making money. Then he tell you, do you want to be married? Do you want to have children? Yes, Mr. Samuels, I want to be married. Okay, it's going to cost you X amount of money in order to sustain your household. You're going to need a man making six figures or more. And then when you say you want that kind of guy, he tell you that you can't because you're average and a high value man is looking for a woman that look like this and look like that. A woman that's a nine or a 10. Do you see that? Shame, guilt, insult, the need to be right. He's using that on you. So now you feel guilty and ashamed based on how you look. And then he guilt trip you into feeling like you would never have a man like that while knowing you can't have a man like that because there's only a certain percentage of men making that money. So now you got a bunch of women fighting 
and thirsty over the same guy that none of them will ever get. Not in this life. And all the while, the guy that is working at Home Depot, that's a good brother, he's stocking boxes in the back, he's a good brother, he, he's a good catch. You don't want him because he don't make a bunch of money. So you're overlooking the good brother right there because you're in search of a high value man, an illusion, a fantasy. That's what's going on in these streets. But people wanna get mad with me. I'm just a messenger trying to give you the truth to make you understand what's going on. And see, when he had your ear, you were under that spell. I talked about that in many videos. All those spinning things on the desk, all of that type of stuff, all of that is sorcery, spells. Keep you under his control. Keep your attention tuned in. Yeah. But let's listen. Let's listen in because it's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy, fam. I'm telling you right now, if you here right now, you're going to witness this. Let's go. And as a woman, the most accurate predictor of what you're going to be able to get, acquire, and maintain in the sexual marketplace is your sexual marketplace value. Notice, sexual marketplace value. Not about your character. He's not focused on your character as a woman. He's not focusing on what you do best that can come to a man. No, everything is your sexual marketplace value. You see that? And when you think about these particular guys, they're all whoremonger males, which mean they're not interested in building family. They don't want to take care of their children. All these guys want is sex. That's pretty. That's all they're interested in. Men like him only was interested in women for sex. That's it. So I don't know how could a man that only wants sex out of women is trying to help you ladies get married. That's like you going to these Christian churches, believe in these prosperity pimps that tell you if you sow $25 into my ministry, God is going to work a miracle for you. No, he's not. Bring ye all the tithes to the storehouse and God is going to work a miracle. No, he's not. You just getting played. He's taking all of your money. He's robbing you. And that's what happened to a lot of people. Let's go. That's fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. That's how you look. That's how you carry yourself. And the thing is, you will attract far more men. But the men who keep women... The men who wife women, the men who make... He said the man who keep women. Why he didn't keep his two wives that he so-called, whatever the case is, is no longer with? Why the high value man, the man with all the money, the guy that is successful, you know, the guy that everybody hates because he has so much money, why would a guy like that lose two wives? How is that possible for a high value man? That don't make no sense. You know, that don't make no sense at all. You see, let me see what's going on in this chat real quick. Cause I want to make sure I don't miss nobody. Um, let me see. Okay. All right. Shout out to, uh, but um, bubbles. I think it's bubbles for the uh, super chat. Appreciate your support. Um, Miss Extra for your su for the super chat. What's going on? Um, Lion of Judah for your super chat says, "I agree with you, brother, and I don't praise Kevin Samuels, and he was living in sin, but he stirred up the pot, so we have to." We, so we can have this conversation. No. See, I'm not one of those people that follow that narrative of he started the conversation. Brothers on YouTube started this conversation since 2006. I don't know about that. See, again, look, this is why, this is why these YouTube streets is crazy. Kevin Samuels did not start no conversation. Kevin Samuels just got popular on YouTube. 
You had many voices on YouTube that have been starting this conversation, have been preaching the gospel, have been teaching for many years, and nobody never heard them. Do you understand? They've been doing this. And what he did is he saw everybody doing the work. He saw all these content creators building channels, losing channels, going through all sorts of heartache and pain to survive in these streets. And he took their talking points and he ran with it and he got successful during the pandemic. He did not start this conversation. You had many men that have been doing this. Yes, he became very successful. Yes, he's the most, he was the most popular, but he did not start this conversation. And I don't agree with that because you have a lot of guys out here that have been putting in work and they have never received their flowers. Do you understand me? People have to recognize the history of YouTube. That's like looking at the NBA and you're praising LeBron all day. You're praising LeBron. Oh, he's the best ever. He's the one who did this. He's the first guy to ever do that. Bro, so you don't know about Kobe. You don't know about Jordan. You don't know about about uh, the, all these other greats. You don't know about these other greats? You haven't done your homework to study the history of the NBA. Oh, I didn't know about that, man. Forget the, forget the history, bro. I just concerned with right now, man. You know what I'm saying? LeBron is making moves. You know what I'm saying? See, that's being naive. You need to educate yourself on the history to understand that men was already done here. Men was already here. That's like praising somebody for an invention that just came out today, not realizing that that invention been out many years ago and the inventors were killed and the patents was made and it was a cover up. But you don't know the history unless you did the educational work. Do you understand me? Let's see what else we got here. Uh, appreciate you, Zulu, for the super chat. He says, a game is the Manosphere male enhancement pill. Wow. Let's see what else we got here. Judah843 says, sup, Ringo. Shout out to Rallo. He said, Numbers chapter 32, verse 23. It says, but if, if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord and be sure your sin will find you out. That's the scripture. Shout out to Rallo for posting that verse. Your sins, listen, your sin will find you out. All you brothers, all you sisters out there, there's a, there's a sin that you do whether you are one who overcome your sins or one that is still a practitioner, there's something that you do over and over and over. That sin might end up being the very thing that kill you. That's why we need to repent and come to the most high. Um, shout out to Miss Extra again for the super chat. Appreciate your support. Shout out to Kevin. Wesley for the super chat. He said, peace, King. I want to have a conversation with you. Please reach out to me or where do I message? You got to you got to you got to message me on Instagram. You got to message me on, on IG at Ringo TV Raw. You know what I'm saying? Just hit me up. You're like, and, you know, you could pretty much use your voice and talk because it's better than typing. And pretty much I'll just respond to you once I have time to do so. So just do that. Um, let me see what else we got here. Um, shout out to the vocabulary for the membership. Appreciate you supporting. All right, y'all. Let's get back into this thing now. Let's go. Lives with women are looking for women who are assets. And they're not looking for women who want um, a man to get on her program. He said that we're looking for women to be assets. That's what he said, that men are looking for women to be assets and we're not trying to get on a woman's program, but the woman got to get on our program. And why is this important? Because far too many of you ladies are living your lifestyles. You like your place. You're impressed with yourselves and you want a man to come along just like Eartha Kitt. You want Eartha Kitt. Eartha falls in love with Eartha and you want somebody to share you being in love with you. That ain't how that works. So. 
Are you, on, are you on the road to being a party of one? Are you on the road to being a party of one? I don't know, but here's the question. If you are on the road to being a party of one, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? I'm going to do something real quick, and we're going to bring in the first... Is that what I want to do? We're going to bring in the first uh, call. But here we go. Before we do that, let's do this. Well, I guess that's not how that joined. Where did... There we go. Money World. I'm the one that actually changed the pitch and pitched it upward. Money World. Now, something interesting is having, happening here. Maybe it's just me. Maybe somebody can fill in the blanks. But I believe that something happened here that wasn't supposed to happen. And it was meant for us to see it today. So that perhaps the authorities can possibly use this footage to learn more about what really happened in that apartment. Let's go. It's crazy. And that is true. He did use sorcery to become popular. That That is true. You know what I mean? Shout out to that's Ellen. Appreciate your support. He said he used sorcery to become popular. He didn't create any talking points. Folks was just under his spell. That's what I've been, I've been teaching on that for a long time. And it's all coming out. Now you're going to have his so-called uh, people. They're going to pretty much try to um, paint this picture as if though he was this perfect guy. Everybody loves him. He was all about family and growth and all this other stuff. Listen to me. I have all the receipts. I made all the videos. I shared all the content. And for over two years, his so-called followers and his people, and I'm talking about his key players that are on his team, have been ignoring the truth that I've been sharing with the people. You would think that with all the content creators and all of the videos that was made about Kevin Samuels, you would think that people would actually have something to say regarding me in terms of, oh, Ringo said this about Kevin Samuels or Ringo said that about Kevin Samuels. No, they never had nothing to say regarding what I do. They, they literally act as if though I didn't exist because they didn't want you people to hear the truth so that you can wake up and realize that you were under a spell. Now, they're upset right now. They're furious, but the most high is in control. The power of darkness is broken over you folks. You can now use your brain to think logically because he had a spell over you. I've exposed all of these things already because I have the gift to see what others can't see. And I tried my best to warn the people, but for some odd reason, they didn't listen. And now we have this day today and you're listening now and trust and believe his following, his people, the people that were his right hand man, his people that he was with on his team. They do not like the fact that I'm talking right now and they don't like the fact that you folks that are in the clouds are listening to me right now. They do not like that. Because that mean the message is now going to get out and people are going to begin to learn the truth about who Kevin Samuels really was. You could go ahead and believe the narrative of this guy that was, you know, for the brothers and for this. And, oh, you just mad. You need to look at his videos. Listen, I looked at the videos. I looked at the talking points and I looked at everything that he was doing. He was not leading you brothers nowhere but off of a cliff. And he was not leading you ladies to get married to no man because he was the type of guy that wanted to have women on rotation. And in case you don't know what that means, it means to pump and dump. It means to have you 
as a, a so-called woman that just come through for the night. And after that, you go back to your life and he'll go back to his. If that is what being a high value man is all about, how does that help you ladies? Let's get back into this. I don't know why it keeps doing that. We're gonna go this way. Listen, people. There we go. Listen. Luna. Pay attention if you're in the clouds. You wanna pay attention right now. Stop everything you're doing and pay attention. Let's go. Money work. What is going on in his house right now? I personally believe that that particular camera wasn't supposed to be on and we weren't really supposed to be seeing that. Do you see that? You all witnessed that. The woman was in the house coming towards him, allegedly. And based on what I'm looking at, because what I tried to do is I tried to zoom in as close to his glasses as possible to see if I can see a shadow. Again, Kevin Samuels was the type of guy that liked the movie Pretty Woman. And in that movie, it was a guy that hired a prostitute to be an escort to pretty much be there for the weekend. Kevin would always use that in his analogies and his videos. So in that particular point, he was doing business as he normally do. But he was messy in his practices because he had the woman in the residence while he's trying to do his job. The woman allegedly came out of the room, walked allegedly naked, because if you have a woman that is an escort for the night, she's not gonna be fully clothed in her attire. She's gonna be in something a little more provocative, allegedly, and she was walking towards him. And that is why he was like, oh no, 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 no. Because he know that he's recording and that would get exposed and we would know and see what he was doing. She wasn't supposed to be out of that room. Yeah. Let's see if we can rewind that back. Let's go. No, 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 no. Wow. You see the smile on his face right there? Fam, I'm gonna tell you straight up and down. Check it out. Look, look at that, that the smirk smile on his face. If you a man, you know this to be true. Look at this, I'm gonna play it. Look at the smirk, look at the smile on his face. You brothers know what this mean. You see, that smirk and smile is when a woman, based on what I know about how we are as men, that woman allegedly came out of that room naked, possibly with heels on, because later in the video, you're going to hear the click clacking of heels. His face had that grin and that smirk and smile because she probably was dancing to the beat while in the crib. And she was probably shaking her behind right in front of him. And he gave that smirk like, man, I'm going to tear this thing up once I get off this live. Allegedly. 
right? Now, let's get back into it. We're going to rewind it back. See that? See the smile? Look. Notice he looked back at her. Why? Because she's dancing at that point, allegedly. Look. He shaked his head and he had the grin on his face, allegedly. That's exactly what's going there. You can see it. You can feel it. The vibe is there, meaning the beat is playing. She's probably dancing up right there by the door. And he's looking at her like, man, you wilding out, man. You want it's one of those grins that men make when they're in front of a woman. And she's looking sexy and she's looking fine and her body looking nice. And she's doing something to, to um, pretty much seduce him. That's what's going on right there. Allegedly. Let's go. Listen. He said it's facing me, I'm trying to protect you, fam. Wow. Your boy Kevin Samuels is being sloppy with his business. See, I personally believe that either that camera don't supposed to be on or that woman is not supposed to be out of that room. And it's messing up his show because it's like, we never seen Kevin Samuels like this. We never seen Kevin Samuels like that, where he is literally having a mini argument or dispute with someone else while he's doing a live. So this looked like, this looked like one of those scenes where he's doing his show, right? And he put on the Money World song and you see the girl dancing and the video come on the screen. Well, when that's happening, he's in his crib, he could be doing whatever, and he normally mutes his microphone. But for whatever reason, the beat is playing, and his microphone is still on. I'm trying to show y'all the game, I'm trying to show y'all what's going on, but hey, you be the judge, you know? Remember, they say that I'm just a hater. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? I, I think I'm bringing out all the receipts, right? I'm trying to make sense of all of this. Right? I'm trying to make sense of this just like you. I'm trying to put the pieces together to see what's going on here so it can make sense, fam. Let's get back into this. Let's go. And he's pissed off. You could tell he's pissed off. But if you really think about it, the way he's looked, the way he's postured, it's as if though he believe his camera is off. A woman is distracting him, fam. The high value man was distracted by a woman. He forgot to press a particular button. And for whatever reason, the mic is still on. The video is still playing. He think that the song is playing, but in all actuality, the public is still viewing. And because this was his last show, he allegedly was possibly intimate with the woman after the show. He did not go back to the playback to see the mistakes in the video. We, the public, now have a copy and we're able to look and review what normally, if he would have known, that that audio was there, he would have took that video down. He would have took that video down, fam. There is no way that Kevin Samuels would have left that video up for the whole world to just look at. 
and say, hold up, whoa, 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 who was that? Because he's telling the woman, whoa, 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 no, 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 don't do that, I'm trying to protect you. Why would he let us hear that? Why would he let us hear that? He wouldn't let us hear that. So you really got to put the puzzle together and realize what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's very important that you pay attention to what's happening here, fam, because you ain't going to get this type of content nowhere else on YouTube, fam. You're not. You know, it's very important that you pay attention because that's the woman that was in the crib. That was the woman that was in his house. So what are we going to do with that situation? Let's get back into this. Okay, you need to. Okay, I'm about to be back on camera. Just get wherever you're going to get to. So. Wow. You see okay, that? I'm about to be back on camera. He said, I'm about to get back on camera. Now, the reason why I zoomed it in because I was trying to see if I can get a visual of who the woman is to see exactly how she looked while walking through that house. And notice, if you listen to the audio, you can hear that the woman was wearing heels. She was wearing heels. Now, what kind of man that is a high value man, a businessman, right? Why would he allow a woman that is allegedly an escort that he hired for the night based on the police report, a woman who was born in 1990, she's 32 years old, and she's supposed to be a nurse, allegedly, right? Why would he go live doing his business and have a woman who is an escort in the house, allegedly? That's bad for business. You can't mix business and pleasure, fam. You can't do that. That goes against the rules. It goes against the rules. You cannot mix business and pleasure. If you're focusing on your money, you cannot have some woman right there distracting you. You understand? That woman wasn't his wife. To all you ladies out there who believe he's trying to help you get a high value man so you could be a wife, he didn't really believe that. That was a part of the gimmick. I know you're upset, but your eyes is open now. You're able to see. I know it hurts, but he was not here to help you get a high value man. What he wanted was a rotation of women. And when you're a high value man and you got money like that, you're able to pay for escorts for the night. Do you understand me? Let's go. Just get wherever you're gonna get to, so. She said, sorry. She just said, sorry. He said, get what you gotta get and go back to the room. In other words, I'm working. Like, what the hell you doing, fam? Like, what are you doing? Look at his face. Look at, look at his face. That's exactly how he look when he's arguing with women on the phone. He's frustrated. Now, remember in the beginning of the video, he talked about a woman that will bring you peace, a woman that will be humbled. Right? But you could see the frustration on his face. Right? Check it out. Look how he looking at her. You heard the footsteps, the, the so-called heels? Okay, I'm about to be back on camera. Just get wherever you're gonna get to, so. You hear the heels? So she had on high heels, right? Allegedly, because I know my sound effects. Those were high heels, right? She was probably wearing fishnet stocking suit, allegedly. <laughs> so you know them women be looking good in them fishnets. Can I get a witness? <laughs> when you see a woman with a wagon in them fishnets, it make you want to sing. <laughs> Y'all already done know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You got the black fishnets. You got the red fishnets. <laughs> you know what I mean? To all you ladies out there, you better go get, get, get some fishnets and put it on for your man. 
You know, real talk. So she probably was walking by. He's trying to work. Now, think about this, fam. You're doing a live show. And you have a woman walking in and out of the house doing what she wants. That's sloppy business, fam. You're being sloppy. So he basically died in his sin, fam. No matter how you put it. Listen, y'all can be saying rest in peace all you want. This man died in his sin. I am not going to be sentimental and oh, you know, he's looking down on us. No, I've been warning this man since he had 70K subscribers to repent. I've been warning him and I've been warning the people and nobody listened. This woman was in his house, walking up and down, distracting him to the point where it's my belief that we were not supposed to be listening to no audio of their, their conversation. Why were we listening to that? Why was it even recorded to be for us to hear? This doesn't make any sense. You got it? Okay, all right. Gentlemen, you're looking for a woman who brings peace and she has humility. You know, listen, this is crazy. She bring you peace and humility. That's what he said right there. Did that woman bring him peace and humility? No. Open it, uh, open Instagram in just a second. Luna. Money word. You see the fear in his eye? Do you see the fear upon him? What took place right there that made him go like that? Think about that, fam. That man was concerned right there because that woman was walking to him, probably to do her job, allegedly. He said, no, 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 no. Why? Because he's streaming. Why would you be streaming with this woman in your house? So let me get this straight. As a high value man, you couldn't just go to a telly. You couldn't go to another place to do what you had to do with this woman. Why would you bring a woman you don't even know in your crib, fam? Why would you do that? With all this high value stuff, your boy Kevin was slipping. He got caught slipping. He got caught slipping and allegedly something went wrong in that house. Possibly this woman probably laced his drink with some sort of drug, allegedly. He could have took some sort of pill, Viagra, mixed with Red Bull and alcohol all together and went into cardiac arrest, allegedly. You don't bring a woman in your crib that you don't know that you just met in one night. You don't do stuff like that. You don't go live doing your job to make your money and you got a so-called escort in the back room, allegedly. You don't do stuff like that, that's bad business. And you told the brothers not to do stuff like that. He taught the men not to be sloppy. He taught the men that this is something you're not supposed to do. But as you can see, based on the tape, he was sloppy in his actions. He was sloppy. Look at a smile. You see that smile? That's the smile when a man is looking at a woman's behind, fam. You see that little grin that Kevin just put right there? That is when a baddie turned around and started shaking her behind. And he was like, man, that thing looking real good, but I'm doing a live right now. <laughs> Some of you brothers, you would have turned off the live and went in the room and got it in. <laughs> right? But that grin that he have is because that woman was naked. Guaranteed, fam. Guaranteed. Allegedly. Why you keep saying allegedly, Ringo? Because that's the way you gotta do it in these YouTube streets. You gotta make sure that you cover yourself. So the next time you talking, if you don't really know it to be true or false, you say allegedly. Right? Because we all know that Kevin Samuels 
had his so-called dream team of attorneys <laughs> that are also content creators on YouTube. See, I know these streets, but we're not afraid of none of his dream team attorneys because we have the greatest attorney of all, and that's the most high Yah. And he have the power of attorney to turn his attorney's lights off. Do you follow me? When you in this truth, you have the best attorney that can get you off any case. You have the best defense, which is the most high Yah. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Do you see what's going on inside of his house, fam? Do you see what's going on at the residence? So to the local authorities, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to really question that woman that he was with, fam. Like real talk. Y'all got to question that woman. Y'all really got to question that woman. Y'all already done know my thoughts of KS. Y'all already done know how I feel about that dude right there. Y'all already done know what it is, but that woman... Somebody need to be holding her accountable. You know what I mean? Because we know that he caught, he got caught slipping. Because you're doing a business here. That's like I'm live right now, right? And my woman come walking in the studio while I'm trying to work. <laughs> or my daughter just run inside. Hey, daddy, hey. You know what I'm saying? Or, or my dog jump, jump into the room and my cat jump over and <laughs> jump on the microphone and, you know, like, uh, you, you understand, right? That wouldn't make no sense. That would, that would be disrespectful because normally if I'm live, right, everybody's supposed to know I'm live and nobody don't supposed to be walking around making no noise. You know? So why Kevin didn't have control over that situation to tell the woman, like, look, I'm doing a live, stay in the room, wait for when I'm finished, and then I'll come in there and give you the work of God. <laughs> he, he ain't tell her that. She was out there doing whatever she want. Now, I don't know if the woman could speak English. I don't know her nationality. I don't know. I seen photos, people sharing photos online. But to be honest with you, fam, I can't go by those photos because I don't know if that is the woman. I don't know if that's her. I see a lot of people posting photos. I've researched the name. It took me to various Instagram pages. But at the end of the day, fam, when it comes to producing content, you have to be sure that that is the woman. You have to be sure about that, right? So, that being said, let's get back into this. Let's go. I don't want to be on, I don't want you on there. <laughs> Mama, I don't want you on there. I'm trying to protect you. 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 He said he's trying to protect her. He's trying to protect her. But was she trying to protect him? Think about that, fam. Because when he was suffering pain in his chest, why she didn't administer CPR? Why she ain't do that? She could have did that to help that brother out. With all the disagreements I had with that brother, all I wanted that man to do was repent. Repent, change your message, and begin to promote the Most High. And even if you didn't promote the Most High, don't lead the people into a burning house. 
And all people did is say, oh, you're just a hater. You're a hater. You're this, you're that. That's sad, man. That man could have avoided that situation. If that woman was not in his house, he would still be here today. If that woman was not in his apartment, he would not be here today. He would not, she, he, he, he would be here if that woman wasn't in his apartment. Because he would have been doing something different. So now we got to wait for the autopsy. So hopefully Kevin Samuels attorneys that are on YouTube will give an update on the autopsy because someone on YouTube was spreading information that I think wasn't good. Um, some other YouTuber was spreading some information about uh, some sort of drug or some sort of thing like that. I didn't like the way that brother did that because he put it in the title. And I'm like, how do you have that information when there was no autopsy done? So be careful with those type of content creators that just come out saying, well, he had drugs in his body and he had this and he had that. Until there's an official autopsy, we won't know the full cause, right? At the same time, based on what we just witnessed, Kevin Samuels had some little altercation with that woman in the house. Um, it said that when he got up in the morning, he experienced that pain and he fell on top of the woman which mean he could have allegedly been having sex with her in the morning and he felt the pain. Maybe he drank something allegedly, had something in his system during the night. I doubt that he actually had a heart attack because he was having sex. <laughs> I mean, we heard of stuff like that happening. We, things like that do happen. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it's a possibility it can happen. But I doubt that that really happened, that a man just caught a heart attack because he was having sex with a woman, right? Even though it's a possibility you could be excited, but I doubt that that happened. Even though it, it may sound that way for laughs, people may joke around with it, but I doubt that that um, actually happened that way. I think that something was a combination of either the Red Bull drink Possibly some some alcohol, um, Viagra, possibly. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but uh, for him to go into cardiac arrest, feeling pain on his chest, that's not something new. He could have been suffering from something else that he never told any of his his partners on YouTube. And that could have been the result of what happened. But I truly believe that if that woman wasn't in that house, he would still be here. And um, it is what it is. But judgment, judgment will come to you when you least expect it. Like a thief in the night. That's just the way it be, fam. Um, let me see who else we got here. Um, I hope I didn't miss nobody, man. Some people was giving super chats. Shout out to Rob for the super chat. He said he made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he made. Psalms chapter 7, verse 15. Shout out to Ray Call. Say you see the woman in the glass. You know, you're right about that. You can you can definitely see the 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 you can definitely see that the that she's in like the shadow. You can see it. Um I was more or less looking for a clear image to see exactly what whether or not she was nude or what the case was, so I can snap a still image to possibly talk about that. You know what I mean? Now, if it was fully nude, obviously I, you can't post that on YouTube. But um, for educational purposes, we could really see that. Um, shout out to Sean for the super chat. Appreciate your support. Shout out to Wesley Knight for the membership. And shout out to Ra God for the super chat. Says, 
just shared your stream on my Twitter. More power and blessings to you, fam. Appreciate your support. All right, let me see what else we got. Oh, we got one more. Shout out to Rhett Wesley again. He said, I have disturbing information. Hold on a second, wait a minute. Hold on a second, let me make sure I read this properly now. He said, I have disturbing information who the woman is. She's a YouTuber that you know well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I get the evidence to you? It's urgent and creepy. Well, you could you could DM that information to my Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. You can DM that information. Yes, indeed. Now I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. But uh this is crazy, fam. This is coming in live and direct. Live and direct, fam. Wesley said, I have disturbing information who the woman is. She's a YouTuber that you know well. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know, man. We, we gonna see what's going on, man. We gonna see what's happening here. Let's, let's see what's going on. Again, my Instagram is at Ringo TV Raw. You know what I'm saying? If you send that info right now, I could look over it and see what's happening, man, because the people want to know what's going on. You know what I mean? People want to know what's happening, man. Uh, let me see. Shout out to The Naked Truth by Annette's Worldviews. Appreciate you for your support. Says the same stream on YouTube actually showed the Money World video, it seems only the Instagram camera was still on during what he thought was a video break. Wow. Wow. So you're saying the same stream is on YouTube. Now that's amazing because I didn't even, I didn't even look for that particular stream. So so that mean he was he was multi-streaming. He was streaming on Instagram and YouTube at the same time. That's crazy, man. She said the same stream on YouTube actually show the money work. Wow. So that mean we weren't supposed to see that clip with him interacting with the woman. That wasn't supposed that was supposed to be behind the scenes. That's like that's like if I do something like this and I'm like Notice you couldn't hear me. You see that? That was supposed to be something along those lines. Or if I went and pressed a button and went to a cut scene because maybe somebody came in the studio, whatever the case is, y'all wasn't supposed to see. It's like when I do my intros, right? I'm already done sitting here. Y'all don't see me. The mic is not on. So when he did that, that clip that we all saw, we weren't supposed to hear that. But again, he passed away, so he probably never went back to see the replay. That's crazy. Um, shout out to Lion of Judah. It said sacrifice for fortune and fame, allegedly. Good thing you put allegedly in the background right there, definitely, because um, I say he got sacri I say fortune and fame all the time. You know what I mean? But you put allegedly in the chat, though. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, let me see. Wesley said, I will send it in shortly. Okay, well, we gonna, we want we want to hear, we want to see this, man. We got to know this one, man, because this is crazy. I want to know what's going on here. Because either I will talk about that in this stream or I could talk about that in another stream because really I would rather keep that matter of fact just send me the info and I'll have that for a whole nother stream because I want to keep this one based on the topic at hand right now but um whatever information you have because again people were sending 
uh, images of what they think the woman look like from different Instagrams. But what you have to understand about Instagram is a lot of times people will catfish and steal other women photos and post them up like it's theirs. So you really don't want to use images because it may be some woman that have nothing to do with this. And next minute you put her image on social media, accusing her and end up getting yourself in trouble. I've been on YouTube to, since 2006, so I know better not to do that, right? Um, let me see what's going on here. Shout out to um, Ellen. Says 32 year old escort. She a YouTuber. I think I know who this is. Is she a femininity coach? I, I don't know. This is, hey, this is news to me, fam. And how do I become a member? I've been watching your content for a while. You hold everyone accountable. You have to click the join button. If you're on your cell phone, right? You would have to go, if, if, if you're on an iPhone, right? I know on an iPhone, you would have to go, or any phone, you would have to go into desktop mode. In the URL section of your phone, I believe it's the left side. You would have to click a box on that side. And what happened is you have the option to go into desktop mode. Click on that and YouTube will appear as if though you're on a desktop computer. You'll see the join button. Once you see the join button, just click join and pretty much you'll do what you need to do from there. That's pretty much it. But you would have to go into desktop mode if you're on a cell phone. Because if you're on your home computer, it'll say join right under the video. Um, hold on, man. Wait, wait, man. We got some more information here. Wesley said the woman that was over was Melanie King. Now, y'all got to have. See, here's the thing. You said I can prove it with video proof. Wow. Again, send the footage. Because uh, even though I make videos about Melanie, I just can't just go and say it was her. Because when you really think about it, matter of fact, well, again, you would just have to send me the info. You would have to send me that info. But at the same time, let's just say it was, right? For just playing devil, devil's advocate, right? Melanie is aware of live streaming. She knows what goes into it. Um, She's been on YouTube for a long time. She's been successful. So she knows when someone is streaming to not make no noise, not to be in the room or whatever the case is. So I doubt, I doubt that that was her. I doubt that situation. It, it really don't make sense at that point. I, I really, I don't think that it's her that was there because the way his facial expression was, again, you would have to send me the proof. You know what I mean? Oh, you said, nah, not Melanie King. So who, who are you talking about? Cause somebody, Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Oh, that's somebody else saying that. Well, I personally don't believe that it's Melanie King. I, 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 I you would have to, you would have to have video evidence that is like, I mean, stone cold evidence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For me to believe that, but I doubt that. So let me just publicly say for the record that I, Blackmail Advice TV, AKA Ringo TV Raw, did not say that Melanie King was in that house. So to all the attorneys, I made myself very clear. This is coming in from the chat and I'm only reading what I'm seeing. Now, that being said, all bases are covered. If you have any information about who that woman was, because again, there are photos circulating all over the internet. I can't go by those photos, even though the name is the same. You can't go by that. You need you need you need real photos. That's why I don't understand why the police didn't take a photo of who this woman is and plaster that online. Why that's not out there. You know? Uh you need 
video of you in the room with them, right? Like, you know, you have to have video proof of these things because you can't just accuse people. You know what I mean? You can't just accuse people. I don't, I don't do things to sensationalize my stories and my videos. I don't do that type of stuff. That's messy. That's why, um, you know, we can't just go by stuff like that. You would have to send me actual evidence to prove these things. Now, if you send evidence and it's raw and uncut evidence, then man, that's gonna be something else. But I'm not gonna um, go out here and accuse a woman without actual facts. We don't do that over here. We gotta have facts. All right? Let's go. Okay, you need to. Okay, I'm about to get back on camera. Just get wherever you're going to get to, so. What is going on in that house? That. Hey, I don't know, but that voice sounds very familiar. I don't know, man. This is a mystery, man. But I would really want to have the police report or someone find out who that woman is so that the public can get that information, man. Now, Wesley is saying, yes, Melanie. She even said it in video. Her hand was caught on video too with the same nail extensions and wearing, and she's wearing the same top. You can't make this up, people. <laughs> you can't make this up. Again, send me the links, send me the footage, send me everything to Instagram so I could do my research. <laughs> wow. This is getting crazier as we go. This is getting wild, fam. I don't know what's going on here, man. This is crazy, man. Uh, med... Hold on, let me see. Medic, Medic Mike for life. Appreciate you for the support. He says, RIP Kevin Samuels. Even though I don't support none of that rest in peace stuff. Uh, he said, but a doctor warned me about emergency drinks. Oh, oh, not emergency, energy drinks. What I'm saying. <laughs> I don't even mess with those type of things. Energy drinks is crazy. You're trying to alter your system and it's gonna, it's gonna increase your heart rate and all that other stuff. Uh, energy drinks. Doctor told me, uh, Mr. Ralph, you keep drinking energy drinks, you will have a heart attack or as it's called AMI. I cut back on energy drinks. Yeah. I suggest all brothers cut back on any sort of energy drink, cut back on all of that stuff. Especially, especially if you're in your forties and fifties, you shouldn't be taking none of those enhancement drinks, man. Like you shouldn't be messing with none of that stuff, fam. Um, let's get back into this, man. But again, to Wesley, man, send me the info that you got, Brent, fam. Just send that info so I can look into it because as much as I would like to talk about those issues, I can't just talk about that on the air without, you know, substantial e evidence that actually prove these things. Because I don't have it in front of me and I don't want to go digging through a bunch of different uh, video clips to go search for that. So let's get back into this. Okay, I'm about to be back on camera. Just get wherever you're going to get to, so. Yo, the way, yo, this is deep because that right there, that right there sounds like a woman that speaks English. That don't sound like a foreign woman. And the way he looked at the woman was almost in, in, in anger and disgust, like, what the hell you doing, man? 
This is getting crazy. This is getting crazy because if that is, if that is her allegedly, why the fake name? If that is Melanie, allegedly, if that is her, that would be tampering evidence by lying on a police report. Now, to you so-called Kevin Samuels attorneys, you got some talking to do. Because if this is true, if this is true, and it comes out that y'all trying to cover up and hide all these different things, fam, man, these YouTube streets gonna be on fire. This is getting crazy. But we're gonna look through that. We're gonna look through that information. Okay, I'm about to get back on camera. Just get whatever you're gonna get to, so. Man, yo, this is this is wild, yo. This is wild, man. This is wild, and I'm hungry too. I'm about to get off, man. I'm hungry, fam. I gotta get me something to eat, man, but for real. You got it? Okay. All right. Gentlemen, you're looking for a woman who brings peace and she has humility. Peace and humility, fam. Anyway, y'all, we're going to get up on out of here. This was a good one. A lot of information. Again, um, to Wesley, send me that info to my Instagram at Ringo TV Raw so that we could look over that information. Because, oh, you said, um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I need to look at that info and really find out what's going on because it says that this woman met him that night and stayed at his crib. Listen, what's done in the dark is going to come to the light. These YouTube streets is something else, fam. <laughs> it better not be what it is. Because these streets are going to be lit. You're going to have everybody talking about this one. Seriously, fam. Because... If that woman that was in that house is you know who, that means that the police report is filled with lies, which prove that something went down in that house and somebody need to be held accountable for what really took place. I'm just saying, Man, this is crazy. Somebody, uh, well not somebody, Karziah said, what if her real name ain't Melanie? Well, to be honest with you, um, I actually did a couple of research, but uh, if you're on my, Inst my, not my Instagram, if you're on my Patreon, you pretty much got all the info. I'm not gonna say too much, but um, I pretty much know how she looked before the so-called surgery. Allegedly. Yeah. That's right. I had found a photo of her before. You know what I'm saying? Her little transformation. Yeah. Because I do my research. You know what I mean? But none, nonetheless, I'm going to go get me something to eat. Um, I'm going to look over the information that uh, it's, you says it won't let me send you on Instagram. It won't let you? What do you mean it won't let you? That don't, that don't make no sense, bro. <laughs> Not making sense, bro. I'm starting to doubt that you got this info. <laughs> starting to doubt, bro. 
You got you got to make me a believer, fam. Like seriously. Uh, let's see, man. I don't know. Are are you using the same the same name, Wesley, on Instagram? What name are you using? You know what I'm saying? I need to know what's going on, man. Um, because like four people sent me messages just now. They're right in the message request box. <laughs> so I got I got four people that just sent me messages on IG. I'm going to check those messages a after I get off the show and get me something to eat because I am really hungry. Like, like right now, I'm hungry, fam. <laughs> um... It's supposed to let you send. Now, if you can't send messages, then either you must be either trolling or you're on the wrong page. I, it's one of the two. I, I need to know what's going on, man. Like, seriously. Uh, let me see. Oh, it says you had to follow. Well, I don't know if anybody have to follow to send messages. But um, I have people that send me messages and they're not even following me. But uh, nonetheless, just send the info, bro. That way I could take a look at the info and see what's going on. Um, right, Judah. It says Atlanta police report the name is uh, Artensia. Uh, these crazy names. I can't pronounce these crazy names, man. I'm not even trying. I know that's what the police report says. So if it says that and she was the woman that was there, it kind of looked kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know. This is getting weird, man. Um, let me see. Let me see. Sean said, appreciate the support uh, um, for you, you brothers. He said, Ringo, on his last video, he broadcast on YouTube called Modern Woman are a party of one at 3720 minute mark you get another angle from that moment okay now we got a clue <laughs> let me screenshot your comment there you go cuz you know as an uh, investigative reporter i got to make sure i get all these details okay i'm actually going to do some reactions to those particular um, video because this the clips that I showed you in this one he had interviewed two women I'm gonna do reactionary videos to those two videos because what I'm gonna show you is how he was talking to the Christian woman and the first woman as well but I'm gonna get off here now we've been on for about how long two hours I, I done went over my whole entire schedule I normally I like to do these live streams for about one hour so we're gonna get off and uh, I'm gonna be back on later on I got to find out what's going on with this information, man. Like, I got to really find out what's going on here because if that's the case, then whoever was there at that house need to be investigated because they're a suspect. And the entire YouTube streets need to know this. Okay? So uh, that's about it, fam. Um, let me see. Let me also do this while I'm here because um, it's a couple of people I have to shout out from my last couple of streams they had supported um, shout out to Rebel Rebel the Almighty for the cash app two on the cash app Eric for the five on the cash app Sean for the five on the cash app Fred for the ten on the cash app to the twelve tribes for the ten on the cash app um, Corey for the five on the cash app Carla for the 10 on the cash app. Kenston for the 10 on the cash app. Anthony for the 2 on the cash app. Um, I'm going to say, how do I pronounce his name? L Lana. Lana or Lane. I think it's Lane. Shout out to you for the 30 on the cash app. Um, friends for the 10 on the cash app. Abaya Abaya for the 10 on the cash app. Um Judith for the 10 on the cash app. Jasmine for the 10 on the cash app. Corey for the 5 on the cash app. Amanda for the 10 on the cash app. 
Spark for the 10 on the Cash App. Dre for the 10 on the Cash App. Daryl for the 20 on the Cash App. Um, to the 12 Tribe for the 10 on the Cash App. Wright for the 10 on the Cash App. Sherelle for the 20. Daryl for the 20. Christopher for the 10. Curtis for the 20. Miss Jones for the 15. I, I, I'm still having trouble pronouncing your name. Donnell for the 15. Sean for the 5. David for the 9. Kaya for the 15. And Shamar for the 50 on the Cash App. Appreciate all of your support, fam. Okay, y'all. We gonna get on out of here now, man. It's a good one. We gonna be back on later on. It's Black Mill Advice TV. The best channel on YouTube. Hands down. Appreciate everybody coming through to the show. This is a great one. We'll be back on later on for another one. Putting in work since 2006. You ever done know what it is? Shout out to everybody in the clouds. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Very important. Make sure you click that like button. Very, very important, fam. Appreciate everybody coming through. For all of those in the clouds that are now probably turning in, you would have to catch the replay. We're dealing with Kevin Samuel's final moments. He makes business with pleasure. Let's find out what's going on, fam. We got to know what's going on in these streets. Police report says that a woman was with him. It also says that she's a nurse. Says a lot of different things. I don't know what's going on. This story is very conflicting. But I want to know the truth. And I'm sure you want to know the truth too. Catch me again on another episode of Black Mill Advice TV. I'm Ringo. Ringo TV Raw. We'll catch you in the next stream. I'm out fam. Peace. If you like our content, consider supporting via Cash App at dollar sign Ringo TV Raw. Become a patron on Patreon.com for exclusive video content not shown on YouTube. You could also support through PayPal at PayPal.me slash Ringo TV Raw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new content. Follow me on Instagram at Ringo TV Raw. This is Black Mail Advice TV, the only channel on YouTube bringing you the truth 100% raw.